Here at Morgan, we like to talk to the people who make this app what it is. We like to talk to people who know exactly why and how Morgan works the way it does. So we decided to ask you exactly what your thoughts were. And it's my mission to share each person's individual story when using Morgan. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna show you all of these really cool features that the Morgan community had to say when we asked, what are the most underrated features inside of Morgan? Like for example, did you know that if you press Command or Control F, you have a search function at the top right of your screen here? Do you see this? I see this. Like for example, when's my Dimitri and Amit sync tomorrow? Oh, I know when it is then. And there's also other ones that I have in the future past that. You know why I know that? because I knew about this hidden little feature that a lot of people don't talk about. It's underrated. Obviously, something cool to note is the fact that if I type just my buddy Ahmed's name in here and then do past, I'm able to see the different events that I've had with him in the past, which is really convenient considering the fact that in a calendar, when I have so many different meetings with so many different people, what am I gonna do? Just click through here and spam and look or spam the left button nonstop until I find it? No. And now I've spammed myself back into oblivion, which leads me to another little feature that you can use in Morgan, which is either pressing this little button or T on your keyboard, and then you get, boom, right back to today. It accelerated me so many weeks into the future, it's confusing as to how that was possible. Time travel is crazy. Just press this button right here. Another thing people don't realize is that you can actually put sets on for your calendars. So for example, I actually have my work calendar on here. So if I were to make a set to have all these as number one, right? And then have a lot of these other ones set to two, for if I just wanted to look at my Rise Productive work, you can see when I go between pressing one, oh, a lot of stuff went away, and two, I then have the ability to completely shift what kind of calendar I'm looking at, which is very convenient considering I make tutorial videos on the internet and have some information that, you know, sometimes I don't really wanna show. These can be set anywhere from one through nine and then zero and are extremely easy to toggle between the different types of calendar sets that you wanna go through. Another really cool feature is time zone. So if I go to the top right over here and then press CST, as you can see, that's the time zone I'm currently in. If I add a time zone, for example, if I put Zurich, which is where Morgan's at in Switzerland, and then I were to hover over an event, for example, and I were to press shift, I would then be able to see on that time zone, oh, it's seven hours ahead, that's cool, it's 2 a.m. in the morning. Maybe if I reach out to my fellow Morgan people that uh, they'll be asleep, that would be rude. But seriously, it's so nice when you're having communication with somebody in a email chain or on a Slack ping and they're not from where you're at, that you can realize you just hover over, it's like, uh, am I really gonna invite them at that time? I'm not sure. Obviously, we have Morgan scheduling links and those are great, but sometimes you wanna wonder without asking, what time is it over there for you for that meeting? I know I get asked this question all the time with my 5 a.m. meetings. Another really cool feature in Morgan is if I click on the bottom left, I actually have the ability to go to any day. It's like a quick navigation. So if I just choose a random day in July, Boom, I'm on that day. And then I could actually press this to go back to today in this view and scroll through in the same way that I could on the top right over here, just with this view. And it works the exact same way. So I click on October 27th, for example. It'd bring me to there. And then after that, what I can do is if I end up pressing D to change it to day view, you can see it actually moved to that date. And then the last thing is tags. So as you can see, I have this thing that's uh, set to showcase my planning and then I have some other tags for tasks. Like for example, uh, you can see this drive home item here. The tag that I have is traveling. So traveling essentially grays out the look of it. Now I know it's on the life calendar and that can be a different color too, but I just like to segment things like that because it ends up giving it a nice color differentiation past just the color differentiation that I have for my calendars, which obviously if you go here, and then go to manage calendars. You can tweak all the different colors within this, change whatever you want. You can use a specific hex code, just like you can with tags. And then the last quick tip I'd like to point out is if you go to this right here, you have a few different really cool calendar options. Like for example, you can either turn on or off widening the day. So if you don't want it to have that day be a little bit catered towards, I personally like it. You can also dim past events. So I know like 
I'm up way too late and a lot of the stuff I said I was gonna do didn't get done today. Then you have the choice to show or not show completed tasks, show or not show declined events, and then even merge or unmerge duplicate events. So for example, I have a booking calendar that I have called meetings, but I also have that going to my Rise Productive email. So it would show as duplicate, but instead I put merge duplicate events on, and now these are all showcased as just one out of the two. Then when I click on it, you can see it says, this event appears in two calendars. Switch to next calendar. Oh, Rise Productive. Oh, switch to back. Oh, I can go back and forth. That's pretty cool. And then once again, I can press shift and see the time zone for Berlin. Pretty dang cool. And I think all of our features are pretty dang cool. I hope this video helped you learn a little bit about the amazing features that we have here at Morgan. Thanks for watching and make sure to check out all of our other content here on the Morgan YouTube channel.